A few days ago, a Republican lawmaker from the state of New Mexico was busted for a DWI, driving while intoxicated. Yesterday, the body cam footage from that arrest was finally released, and we get to see this Republican lawmaker begging police officers not to arrest her because, as she says, she's the one who goes out there and fights for them every day. So logically, they should return the favor and just let this woman who broke the law go free. It's a longer clip, but I wanted everybody to see her fail her sobriety test first and then hear her begging the police officer to let her off the hook for it. Take a look. Do you have, what level of education do you have? I'm sorry to ask you that, I know it's personal, but. I have a high school diploma okay. plus a real estate license. Okay. Plus I'm a state rep. Oh, good. So you can count backwards, I'm assuming, and you know your alphabet? Yes. Okay, can you count backwards from 47 to 32 for me, please, out loud? 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And... Can you recite your alphabet, starting with F, ending with R? F to R. Out loud, please. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Do you have anything in your mouth? Like gum or tobacco or anything like that? No. Can I see? You lift your tongue. Thank you. So the tests that you just did, Monica, they're not pass or fail tests. They're just certain clues that I look for, okay, that measure impairment, okay? So what needs to happen now is I need to give you the opportunity to do a breath test, okay? Depending on the results of that breath test is how we go from here, okay? Well, so I, I need I... to place you under arrest for DVI. So go ahead and turn around for me and place your hands on your back. No, 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 no. Yes, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around and place your hands on your back. Turn around and place your hands on your back. You have had alcohol. I can smell alcohol. And my test show. Had alcohol. Okay, well then when you decide to take the breath test or not, then. That'll show that. No, I'm not gonna... Well, it's up to you. If you don't want to do the test, and I can't force you to. There are penalties, but I'll just redo that when we get over there. Yeah. I literally did everything right. You did it, do everything right. They're not pass... I did too. Stop turning around on me, please. Thank you so much. 1045. They're not pass or fail tests. They're just certain clues that are... ...observed, and you exhibited quite a bit of those clues. So let's walk over to my car, please. Okay, this way. At least what? Seven four zero. I have all units involved in the seven. We're gonna take care of the dog. Moved over to event seven. Every fifty four and everything done by any of the units that were previously on. Well, I'm sorry that you guys were in the argument. I mean, that's. I don't mean to add more issues to your night, but. Well, that doesn't make it okay to drink and drive. I'm not drinking and driving. Okay. Seriously. Well, then once we do the breath test, it'll show. I fight for you guys every time I get the chance. Seriously. Here's the thing. Um, this Republican state lawmaker from New Mexico, Monica Youngblood is her name. She broke the law. It doesn't matter if you go out there and sponsor legislation to give people the death penalty if they kill police officers, or if you sponsor legislation to make DUI penalties even harsher, which she did. 
You broke the law, you deal with the consequences. Not only did you put your own life in danger, you endangered the lives of everybody else on the roads that you traveled. And as somebody who has lost multiple friends to drunk drivers, I can tell you that this is not something that anyone should have any sympathy for this woman over. The only person, or, or I should I say, creature that we should have sympathy for is the dog that she left in her car and decided to drive around drunk with. But I do have to add this. The police officer in this video is an example of what every police officer in this country should be doing during traffic stops, regardless of the person's race, uh, 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 sexual uh, orientation, gender, anything. This guy did it perfectly. If we had more police officers like this, we wouldn't be seeing the horrible stories that we see every day on the news. He was calm, he was respectful, he was by the book, he did his job and he moved on. That's how it's supposed to be. So kudos to this police officer for not giving in to this woman's request to let her off the hook for endangering everybody in that area. More cops should be like that and we should have fewer lawmakers out there like Monica Youngblood.